Hey everybody, welcome to class. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a really simple beginner class. Rex, we're going to have two of these in a row. And we're just going to look at some beginner stories, read through those, look at the vocabulary, talk about the vocabulary. Again, just a really slow, smooth, easy class. Um, for those of you that are above like an intermediate and advanced level, try, try to... Um, you know, try not to come into class uh, just because, you know, this is more of a beginner type level, okay? Uh, Felipe, hi Felipe. Hi teacher. Hi, how are you Felipe? I'm fine, thank you for asking. Thank good, you. good, good. Doing well, doing well, doing well. And you, you've been in my classes before Felipe, is that right? No, it is my first time in your class. Okay, so good. And where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Okay, good, good, good. Fantastic, fantastic. Are you taking English right now? Um, and another, uh, are you taking English right now in school? Are you taking it at like college or anything like that? Um, I learned just in Berlin. I, I don't study high school more. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you just learned... So, so bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. This class is perfect for you. This is a beginner class, so you're taking the right class. Do not worry, okay? We're going to talk really slow and really clear in this class, okay, Felipe? Okay. So, yeah, so everything's fine. This is a very good class for you since you're a beginner level okay okay so good 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 so I'm glad you're taking classes here did you say this is your first um, that this is your first class on verb taking other classes here on verbling I'm sorry it's okay sorry. is this your first class on verbling or have you taken other classes on Verbling? I take other classes. Okay, good, good, good. So, so good. Okay, let's see if somebody else has joined. Hello, uh, so you're the only Juan in here, so I don't have to call you Mr. Uh, Sepulveda, <laughs> like in the last class. <laughs> so, how are you? Hey, good to see you again, man. Yeah, fine. Good, good, yeah. good, good. Nice to, uh, nice How to have you. Know. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It's a nice day, you know. My uh, my dogs are behaving. Uh, I'm teaching English, and you know, all is good in the world. You know, I'm I'm fairly lucky. I have a pretty simple life, so it's pretty easy every day, you know. And your day is going well. Everything fine. Yeah, yeah, everything's good. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay. All right, so let's see. So Maria, hi Maria. Hello, teacher. Hi Maria, how are you? I am doing well, thank you. Okay, good, good, good. So welcome mm -hmm. to class. So you survived the tongue twisters. So that's <laughs> good. Now you know you're yeah. back for more. Yeah, now you're back for more. So good. And we'll start shortly. Again, this is just a, uh, a really simple, smooth beginner class. So we'll go really slow. We'll go really slow here. Okay, so let's see who else is here. Somebody else is coming. Oh good, Adriana. Adriana's back. Okay, and hey, um, hey Juan, there's just a little bit of echo coming from you. I don't know why, but just a little bit. Oh, okay, sorry. No, it's okay. I was just, just, let, just letting you know. Okay. Hello, Adriana. Hi. <laughs> Hi, welcome to another class. And by the way, guys, just to let you know, okay, this is a re this is a beginner, beginner. These are really easy classes, okay? So if for some reason you're taking the class, you're like, oh, this is too easy, I won't be offended if you say, ah, you know, maybe go to another one, okay? Just to let you know, it's really 
easy, okay? Really, really easy. It's a slow, smooth class, okay? We'll wait just for a few more people to join. So what did you think, Adriana, of those tongue twisters? Oh, man. I think I'm going to have nightmares with Woodchuck. <laughs> woodchuck, you have a Woodchuck nightmare? But yeah, but just that one class right there, I, I think a lot of the students probably learned what they were doing with the EG, right? Big, 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 wig, wig, right? And if you go back and you listen, then you can hear oh, yourself, you know? Yeah, well, I had to learn Chinese because I was in China, and sometimes, you know, I'd say something, I was like, you can't understand me? You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, you know, the, the pronunciation was a little off. And in Chinese, it's really important because it's such a, the, a language that uses so many tones. So my point is I can understand being a language learner, how frustrating it can be because you're like, no, no, I sound fine, you know? And there's certain things where you don't realize until you go back and listen to yourself, right? Well, I, I think like uh, all of us in our heads, we sound like we should sound, but mm -hmm. in reality, it, it sounds different. Yep, yep. We all sound like um, like Bruce Willis and Madonna, right? We all sound perfect. <laughs> no, but but in reality, uh, we sound more like Steven Seagal and I don't know. I forgot who's a terrible female actress. But uh, anyway, <laughs> so let's see. So Lee Puck, hey Lee Puck. Hello, Lee. Don't be shy. You've been in my classes before, Lee. You know how to speak. Okay. Well, anyway, let's. Uh, hey, Lee, welcome back. How are you? Hello, Lee. Ah, uh, hello, teacher. I'm hi, <laughs> hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I wonder sometimes if having that sign up there, if that freaks people out. You know. Um, yeah. Yeah. And actually, I I tell you, I mean, I'm not. Not like embarrassed or anything, but I'm just not. I don't know. I'm not much of a person for uh, for showing my face that much. Uh, anyway, um, okay, so good. All right, we see Brianna is back. Okay, and yeah, that that is your name, right? Uh, Lee Lee Puck, or is it Lee Fuck? Lee Puck. Am I pronouncing Lee your name Puck. right? Lee Puck, right? Lee Puck. The poke, yep, yep. Poke, because, poke, yeah. Because Felipe, yeah, Felipe was trying to ask, you know, how um how you pronounce that. He was asking that in the chat. So good, okay. And Brianna, hello, Brianna. Hello. Hello. Okay, good, good. Welcome back. Okay, so we're gonna go through this again. This is just a really simple um class. Sick. Okay, thanks, Felipe. So Felipe just put the uh, put the um, the story in here that we're going to be reading. Now, as we read, and we're just going to read a few sentences at a time because there's just a few um, people in class, right? And there's only a little bit of reading. So as we read this, once we get done, we're going to go back and look at some of the words. We're going to look at their definitions, okay? All right? And, hey, Lee, I'm going to mute you just real quick because there's a little bit of sound coming from you, okay? It's okay, Lee. No problem, okay? Uh, Adriana, would you read just this first part, the part that I've highlighted? Jason read the news. He watched the news. He listened to the news. The shine flu was coming. The shine flu was dangerous. The shine flu was a killer. Okay, so wait one second. Okay, swine, swine. Mm -hmm. Yep, and one of my favorite, you know, it, it's funny because I enjoy, actually I enjoy some of the accents of other people, you know, but this is killer, 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 okay? But I, I always love the accent of killer. Here in the Philippines, they'll say killer. I'm not a killer. Okay, so killer, killer, okay, so, and no problem, no problem, okay, let's go on here, so who's next, Ben, hello, Ben, Ben Aziz, 
Hey, Ben. Hello, hello, teacher. Hi, how are you today, Ben? Uh, I am fine, and you? Doing well, doing well. So good, good, good. So, uh, Ben, is this your first time in class? Or have you been in class yes. before here? Mm -hmm. So, Ben, yes, make yes. sure, yeah, make sure that you close the verbling window open or verbling window if you have the verbling window open close it okay like if you have it open in another tab only have the google hangout window open okay all right okay sometimes students leave that other one open and then it's hard for them to understand okay so good okay. so ben where are you from ben i'm from yemen from Yemen? Okay, good. Yes. Good, 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 good. Ben, do me a favor. Just read just these few sentences here, okay? Just these few sentences. It killed people? Go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, it killed people. Everyone should get uh, a shot. This one was uh, not uh, worried about this when play. He was healthy. I'm um, okay. as healthy as good. No, so good, so good. Yeah, and yeah, Adriana. <laughs> I can usually, I can usually tell. Okay, sometimes I'm wrong, but that's all right. Okay. Oh, are you okay, Ben? <laughs> what was that? What was that sound, Ben? Hey, Ben. Ben, it's okay. So Ben, don't be nervous, okay? All right. So Ben, this is your first time, but just relax. It's okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. And try not to move around too much. Just try to remain nice and still, nice and calm. Okay. All right. Okay. And don't forget to breathe. Sometimes when we get nervous, we don't breathe. Okay. Make sure you breathe. Okay. All right. Okay. It's okay, Ben. Okay. okay. All right, I'm going to mute your microphone. We'll get back to you later, though, okay? Welcome to class, Ben. Welcome to class. Okay, Brianna, I'm okay. as healthy as a horse. I am as healthy as a horse, he said. I never get the flu. I never get sick. Jason was a talk show host. He talked on the radio. He talked for three hours every day. Okay, good, good. And he talked. He talked. Talk. Okay. Mm hmm Yep. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. All right. Juan, go ahead. Okay. It said, I'm getting a swim flu shot. A doctor called Jason. The doctor told Jason to get a shot. He said, come to my office. I'll give you a free shot. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's continue here. And yeah, go ahead. And don't worry, don't worry. We're going to have another story. So Felipe, Maria, you'll be able to read during the next story, okay? Right? Okay. So, okay, so I didn't forget about you. Go ahead, Lee. Can you read this? Jason said no. It's okay, Lee. Start reading here. Jason said no. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, Jason said no. He was as healthy as a horse. One month later, Jason didn't go to work. He didn't go to work for a week. He had the swine flu. Mm -hmm. Swine. 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 Does anybody know what swine is? Can somebody know what swine is? Swine. 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 Mm -hmm. do, do you know what a swine is, uh, Juan? Swine is like um, fevers, maybe? Mm -mm. What is it, Maria? Swine Can you say a, what it is? Uh, Good, Maria. What is it? Um, swine is a pig. It's not a pig. It's a pig. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a pig. Pork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no? Swine, it's a pig. Okay, swine. Uh, okay. Yep, so pig. And by the way, folks, I realize that some people, because of religious beliefs, don't eat 
don't eat um, pork. I understand this is just a story, okay? All right? So I hope it doesn't offend anybody. All right? And I, I myself, I live in the Philippines. They eat a lot of pig. Uh, they eat a lot of pork here, but I, I'm, I'm not much for pork. Okay? And then swine flu. So swine flu is very serious, guys. Okay? People die from little yep. piggies. Okay? So if you have the swine flu, this little piggy can do all this stuff to you, okay? Fever, you know, psychologically can make you go crazy. When you get the swine flu, you think you're a pig, and you start going outside oinking like a pig. Did you know that? No. I'm just I'm making that up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, it is, it, it is very dangerous, though, okay? So you don't want to get swine flu. So let's go through some of this vocabulary again. All right, again, we're going to, um, this is a beginner class, so I'm going to slow back down. We're going to go through some really simple vocabulary. We're going to talk about this together, okay? All right? So let's see. Maria, thanks for telling us what a pig is or a swine is. Maria, what's news? What's news? An information, latest information. So the latest information, mm -hmm. yeah. yep, yep. So where do you get your news from, Maria? Do you get news from your boss? Does your boss tell you all the news? Or do you get news on the internet? Where do you get news? <laughs> yes, um, I get news from the internet, from other people, and also from televisions. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you get news from your dog or cat? <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> nope. Okay. So good. So yeah. So you get news. You get it from. It used to be most of the time you get it from a newspaper, but now you get it from the internet. There's different places out there that, that help you. Actually, this is really good. It's quartz. Quartz is really good. Okay. All right. So there you go. QZ. It's really good when it comes to news. All right. And we're going to, I'm going to call people randomly to use some of these, um, some, some of these words in a sentence. So Juan, can you use yeah. news in a sentence, please? Wait a second. I can hear you. No, I'm sorry. Can you use news in a sentence? So like I watched the news this morning. Can you create another sentence like that, please? Can you please try to repeat it? Yeah, I can. So it's okay, Juan. So I want you to give an exact example sentence using the word news. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, I like to. I like to watch the. the I like to read the newspapers in the morning because you will. You will you will know what all this thing that is happening in the city. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So good. You'll know. You'll understand or know about everything happening. Mm -hmm. Good. Hey, is that who I think it is? Essie. Hey, Essie. How are you today? Good. Good. Yeah, and Essie. Yeah, just click the red microphone. Mm -hmm. You're muted right now. Click your red microphone, Essie. Hmm. Essie, you don't know how to use the Hangouts by now. So Essie, remember, your microphone is muted. So you need to click the red microphone. You need to unmute yourself. It's okay, Essie. Hmm. This is rather odd. Here, Essie. Yeah. I thought you knew. Oh, there you go. I thought you knew how to do this by now. How are you today, Essie? Oh, Essie, you remuted yourself. <laughs> it's okay. Essie, click the microphone so that you're not muted, okay? It should not be red. Hmm. Yeah, I still can't hear you, Essie. Okay, let me show you... 
And I thought, yeah, I thought, I thought you knew this, Essie. You've been in class before, right? So Essie, up here, Essie, remember? Yeah. Hello. Oh, okay. There you are, Essie. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. Hello? Okay. Really? You don't hear me? I can hear you now. I can hear you. It's okay, oh, I see. Oh. Yeah, no, yeah, I was, yeah. I was, I was confused because uh, yeah. you know you'd been in my class before, and uh, just yeah. a little problem getting uh, getting the microphone done. So it's okay, Essie. Yeah. So Essie, we're talking yeah. about the swine flu, the swine flu right now. Okay, and where where are you from again, yeah. Essie? I'm from China. Mm -hmm. Yep, and remember how uh, we used to have like the H1N1, right? We had the the bird flu. Remember the bird flu when we were yeah. going to die, you know? Okay, so we had the bird flu. Now this one that we're talking about is the swine flu. The swine flu, mm -hmm. you know? You know yeah. pigs? Do you know what a pig? You know? Yeah, yeah, an uh, uh, animal. Yeah. Yeah, Jew, Jew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, little pig, yeah, little piggy. Xiao, Xiao Ju, Xiao Ju. Yeah, Xiao Ju. Yeah, Xiao Ju. Yeah, I like it. I Xiao Ju. Yep. So eat a lot of pig. Yeah, really. So okay, yeah, so good. You, you can speak Chinese. Yeah, I can speak Chinese. Yeah, I can speak Chinese. Yeah, I can speak Chinese. <laughs> oh, I, I can speak a lot of time. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. I always say that to people. I always, I always ask them if they can too. It's okay. But Essie, I'm, I'm really just supposed to stick with just English in class. But yeah, I know a little bit of Chinese because I lived in China for uh, for four years. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So yeah, good. Really. So good. Yep. Genda. So let's uh, let's continue on here with class here, okay? So good, nice to see you okay. again, Essie. And Iz, uh, 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 Iz's or Iz? Iz. Iz. Hi, Iz. How are you, Iz? Good. Good. Where are you from? I'm from Japan. Ah, oh, konnichiwa. <laughs> konnichiwa. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see. You. Yeah, good. So good. Yeah, you re you remember? So I've lived in Asia for ten years. Mm, so you remember, yeah. like the bird flu, the yeah. H one H one, and I remember when it was going around, and I was in um, I was down in Taiwan, and I was eating hot pot, and I was eating duck blood, and my mom asked me, "You're eating duck blood?" And I said, "Yeah, don't worry, it's okay." <laughs> you know, but that was scary. So now what we're talking about right now is we're talking about the swine flu, okay, the yeah. swine flu. So this is where little piggies get you sick, okay, little piggies. Okay, so um, so good. Let's continue along here. Um, let's see, watch the news. Okay, so again, this is a beginner class, a beginner class, all right? So it's going to be real slow and smooth, okay? So Felipe watched. What is what does watched mean or to watch something, right? So watch this past tense. What does that what mean? Is like watch, like to watch, like I watch TV. What is it what does that mean when I watch TV? Look. Look? Mm hmm Yep. So Felipe? Means uh, what? Yeah, so watch. When you watch something. Felipe, do you have a younger brother or younger sister? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do your parents ever have you watch your younger sister or younger brother? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yes. you look you look after them. You look after them, right? Okay, so you watch. You can also watch TV. Oh, okay. You can watch a sporting event, okay? You can watch the world crumble, all these different things, okay? All right. Hello, Desita. Hi, Desita. Hello. 
Hello, Desita. Hi, Desita Nirfalda. Yeah, I think maybe she's frozen. She's frozen. Okay. So, um, uh, and I'm I'm sorry, Ozzy, is that right? Uh, Ozzy, no wait, let me let me make sure one more one more time. Give me one more chance, please, please, please. Um, uh, Ozzy, is that right? Izzy, Izzy, Izzy. Okay, so Izzy, Izzy, can you use watch or watched in a sentence? Can you give me an example sentence? Like for example, I would say I watched the students come into class. Can you give an example sentence to me, please? Hello, Izzy? Hmm, Izzy, it sounds like maybe you're having problems with your microphone. Okay. All right. Um, ben. Hey, Ben. Hey, can you, hi. Can you create an example sentence using watch or watched? I would I watch uh, I watch TV. I watch TV. Okay. Good. 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 Okay, so let's go on here. So, Adriana, dangerous. Dangerous. What does dangerous mean? Like um like a place, for example, that you need to uh, stay away. Oh, so you don't want to go around dangerous things? You want to stay yeah. away from them? You want to avoid them, right? Avoid them. Does this look dangerous to you? Does that look dangerous? <laughs> the bear? <laughs> yeah, the bear. Yeah. <laughs> so, yep, okay. So Michael Jackson dangerous. So is <laughs> is fire dangerous? Is fire dangerous? It is if you don't have like the proper equipment to mm -hmm. to be around. Okay, good, good. Is a gun dangerous? Yes. Okay. Are kittens are kittens dangerous? <laughs> if you are like allergic, yes. <laughs> if you have an allergy, yep, okay. Or if you or if you you swallow them, yeah. right? <laughs> you know. Okay. So, all right. Let me let me ask you one more thing. Okay. So, is is this dangerous? No. No, he's not dangerous. <laughs> you no. Know? He's not not dangerous. And hey, by the by the way, um, Essie. Whoa. Hi. This is this is my second pug, and my pugs understand Chinese. They yeah, understand. Yeah. yeah, they understand. Just listen. Shall go. Be zui. Okay. They also know. Go lai shall go. Okay. So yeah, no, no. I, I kid you not. I, I've taught. I taught him Chinese. This one's young, so he's still learning. Okay. So this isn't dangerous. Are you sure? You sure he's not dangerous? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I have allergies. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not allergic to him. Anyway, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just fooling around a little bit. Let me get back to teaching you. Okay? All right. Okay. So, um, but also to keep in mind some people that are beginner level, this helps them to understand when you really drill this in. Okay, so let's see. So, Essie, can you give me an example sentence with the word dangerous in it? Mm, I'm a dangerous woman. You're a dangerous woman? <laughs> okay, all right, so you must be a killer. Okay, so good, good, yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I hope you're not dangerous. Um, mm -hmm. Ben. So Ben, the next thing here. Um, okay. What is what does he mean by shot? What does shot mean in this context? What is shot? shot. It's okay. So what does a shot mean in this context? Uh, shot. I don't, I don't, don't know. know. It's okay. It's okay. So look at this picture. Do you see the picture on the t in the on the uh, screen? Make sure you have Brett Tudor clicked. Okay. All right. Okay. So if you see Good. here, so this is a shot. Sometimes when you're sick, you have to get a shot. Yes, like an injection. An injection is the same thing as a shot. 
So sometimes when you're sick, okay. you have to get a shot. Sometimes you also, like when you're a baby, you also get shots to make sure that you don't get sick when you get older, okay? Okay. Okay, Lee. Lee, can you use shot in a sentence, please? It's okay. So, Lee... Oh, can, yes. you create, mm -hmm. can you create an example sentence using the word shot? Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, a nurse, uh, gets so, uh, on my hand. Mm -hmm. So you'll say, the nurse gave me a shot on my hand. Uh -huh. Yes. Yep. And Felipe, Felipe, you're correct. I will get a shot. Okay? All right? Yep. So I will get a shot. Okay, so good, guys. Good. And again, don't worry. This is just real slow, really easy. It's a beginner class, okay? Essie, Essie, healthy. Hi. What does healthy mean? Uh, healthy is a good condition for somebody's body. Mm hmm Yep. Healthy is a... Mm, uh, go ahead. It's a good, uh, good health. Mm hmm Yep. Healthy, good, yeah. good health. Good. So if you drink a lot of Ching Tao Pijo, will you be healthy? Yeah. Will you be healthy if you drink uh, a lot of beer? No, no, no. I have... Uh, I have uh, uh, allergy uh, for the alcohol. Yeah, it makes your face red. Does it make your face yeah. red? Mm -hmm, yep. Yeah. So, so that's unhealthy. But drinking a lot of beer is unhealthy. Sometimes you drink a, some beer with friends, and that's okay. And again, I apologize if people here because their religion, if they don't drink or things like that. It's just examples. Now, Essie, if you smoke cigarettes, is that healthy mm -hmm. for you? Mm, I think maybe, uh, 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 of course, it's not healthy for mm -hmm. the, uh, yeah, yeah. But I think yep. uh, I, I, I often smoke. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's okay. So you do smoke? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. What if you eat a lot of fruit and a lot of vegetables? Is that healthy? Yeah, it's healthy. Okay. All right. Good. 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 Um, what if you drink a lot of green tea from Hangzhou? Is that healthy? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yes. Uh, green tea is famous in China, and uh, uh, but you know, if you have an empty stomach, empty stomach, and you drink a lot of green tea, you will feel bad. It's not healthy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Actually, I still have green tea from Hangzhou. Because it's healthy, yeah. very healthy. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, Felipe, can you create an example sentence using the word healthy? No, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. You can create one, Felipe. It's okay. It's okay, Felipe. Do you want me to help you? Felipe, Felipe, do you eat bananas? Yeah, I eat bananas. Okay. So is, does that make you healthy? Does that help you to be healthy? What? Sorry? It's okay. It's okay. This is a beginner class, Felipe, so no problem. We'll go slow. So, Felipe, when you eat bananas, eating bananas, okay? Yeah, I, I eat it, bananas. Mm -hmm. I like so, bananas. Yep, so bananas are healthy for you. They're a healthy food for you to eat. So that's what you could say. Okay? All right. So so Juan, I'm gonna give you yeah, I'm gonna give you an idiom. You're gonna have to read this idiom. Healthy as a horse. What the heck does that mean? What does healthy as a horse mean? <laughs> is that is is a is an expression, right? It's an it, it's, a, it, it's an idiom. It's a, okay. It, it means the You say I am, I am as healthy as horse as a horse. Uh, 
it means like uh, you will you will you will get a strong, right? It means you're strong, strong, right? No. You're like you're in good shape. Okay, good shape. Yeah, you will. Yeah. You need to. You need to be. You need to be. You you need to become a strong man, right? So you will become in a strong man. Right. So, so yeah. So let me help you. It, you're already in that condition. So if you say I'm as healthy as a horse, that means I am healthy. I am in a good, good condition. You won't say I'm going to become healthy as a horse. We normally don't say that. We just say if somebody's in that condition. Oh, that Brett. Yeah, he never gets sick. He's as healthy as a horse. Okay. Mm, okay. So that's. Yeah, so you're in the condition of being in good shape, where you're not sick, where you're not sick. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Thanks, man. So, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, Lee, Lee, radio. What's the radio, Lee? Uh, radio. The is. Uh, I can listen uh, information in. On the radio, in each. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. Yep. So you listen. You listen to music. You listen to information. All of this you get through the radio. You listen to it on the radio. Okay, on the radio. What's playing on the radio? Okay, so good, good, good. Um, and let's see here. So, uh, Adriana, can you use radio in a sentence, please? Um, every day when I, when I um, go to work, I listen to the radio. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Do you think that there will ever be a day where we don't have the radio, Adriana? Um, I don't think so because, uh, well, uh, here... In Mexico, a lot of people uh, still uh, listens listens to to the radio. They still listen to the radio. Yeah, but yeah, I think, a I, lot I think, of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think someday though everything might go through the internet, almost like uh, who knows? Who knows? I'm just talking out loud. You no. Know? <laughs> yep. So Ben, you want to know a healthy mind? You want to say a healthy body? and a healthy mind, a healthy body and a healthy mind because then you're physically, your body and then mentally your mind, okay? Then you're in okay. perfect okay. okay? So good. Good. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So Maria, hello Maria. Yes. Okay. Um Let's see here. Sorry, I was trying to look for the next one. So, what's an office? What What does he mean, office? What's an office? What's a doctor's office? Why would you go to a doctor's office? Um, you're um to to ask of, or to consult about your health. We'll go to doctor's office to consult about our health or any mm -hmm. health problems. Yeah, and maybe to get a checkup. Sometimes we yes. get a checkup. Yep. Yeah, sometimes we get a checkup in the office too, okay? So good, good, good. It's Samir. Hi, Teacher Brett. How are you? Hey, good, good. I thought maybe you didn't like me anymore, Samir. I never saw you around anymore. I thought, hmm, maybe Samir. Yes, that's just, been a long kidding. time. <laughs> it has been a long time. <laughs> been a long time. Yes. Very nice to see you, Samir. Always nice I'm to glad see, see you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Okay, and let's uh, let's see. So, Tron, hello, Tron. Okay, bye, bye, Adriana. Bye, bye. See you. Take care. Okay, so good, good. So, is it Tron? I'm sorry, Tron. I can't pronounce your full name. Uh, Tron Beach. Yeah, I just I won't be able to. I'm just mentally not capable. Hey, Samir, we're talking about a doctor doctor's office. Do you ever go to the doctor's office, Samir? Yes, I go to the doctor's office. 
-hmm. Are you a doctor, Samir? No. <laughs> no, no, okay. So why do you why do you go to the doctor's office? If I get sick, I go to the doctor. To if you get sick, you go to the doctor's uh, office? Uh, yes. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. Okay. So let's uh let's continue on here. So this was the first story. So now we're gonna go to the next story. Clothes shopping in New York City. Oh never knew how life could be until I started clothes shopping in NYC. Okay. So good, good, good. So Maria, you're the next one to read, Maria. Can you still read or are you blind? Yes, I can read. Okay. Go ahead, Maria. Read this. I went to Century 21. I went to Century 21 today. Century 21 is a popular clothing store. Many people shop there. Many people buy clothes there. It has many bargains. It has bargain prices. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one here. Okay. So go ahead, Felipe. Can you read just these few sentences? Okay, I can read. Um, it it sells clothes at a bargain price. Today, above a winter cap, I can pull the cap down over my ears. It will keep my ears warm in the, in the winter. I bought a pair. Of a little clothes. Okay, good, 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 good. Go ahead. Go ahead and stop right there. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay so let's continue on here. Okay, excuse me one second. Or Samir, can you read this? The, they will keep my hands. Okay. Uh, they they will keep my hands warm in the winter. I bought a pair of boots. They will keep my feet warm in the winter. I paid uh, $170 for the cup, gloves, and boots. The regular price was $355. Okay, so good, so good. Um, is that is that you? Um, I don't I don't know who's uh, who's uh, Fong TTB. I don't know what to do except to give you this. Okay, okay. So and all you need to unmute yourself is just to click the red microphone if you're muted. Okay, click the red microphone if you're muted. And hello, um, tra Tran Tran B. I'm sorry, I cannot, I just have no idea. Yeah, so Tran Fong? Beach Tran Beach Tran Fong? Beach. Oh, I'm glad, so, yeah, I'm glad somebody here uh, can pronounce some of these names. So Tran Beach Fong, yeah, all you need to do is click the red microphone. There's a red microphone. That's all you need to do to unmute it. So Tran Beach Fong? Yeah, just click that red microphone. That's probably where you're muted, okay? Uh, ben, can you read this last one here, this last part here? Uh, I saved. Go ahead, Ben. And no, we can't, we can't hear you, Fung. Okay. So, so hey, uh, Ben Aziz, can you read this here? I saved 185. Okay, okay. I sold the one hundred ninety-five dollars. I love this story. I tell my husband to shop there. I tell my cats to shop there. Okay, I good, tell my good. friend no, no, to okay. shop there. It's okay. So kids, kids. I tell my kids. Okay. Kids. I right. tell my kids okay. to shop there. Okay, so good. I and then, uh, no, no, it's okay. Good, good job. Uh, go ahead. Can you read these last few lines here, uh, Juan? Okay. I tell my friends to shop there. Century 21 is always crowded. Mm -hmm. It is never empty. 
Everyone loves that store. Okay. All right, so good. Good, good. Um, let's see here. Let's start out with some of the vocabulary. Okay. So, and yeah, make sure. So, um, so yeah, so Tron. Tron Bitfong? Yes. Hi. Where, where are you from? I come from Vietnam. Ah, okay, good, good, good. Welcome to class. Welcome to class. Can you tell me what's the definition of clothing store? What's a clothing store? Clothes, clothing store. Um, means that shop, 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 sell, shop, sell clothing. Yeah, it's shops that sell clothing, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, clothing, you know, different things like that, right? Okay, so good. Do you go to a clothing store? Do you like to go to a clothing store? Do you shop at clothing stores much? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's the name of your favorite clothing store? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't remember the name of clothing store. Success, Gucci or um. Gucci, um Prada. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. I think they're I think they're more towards accessories, but that's okay. It's okay. So good. So good. Um, okay. What is what does this mean by uh, so Lee? So Lee, what do bargains mean? What's a bargain? Bargain. Oh no, no, it's it's Lee's turn. Uh, so Lee Puck. What does a bargain mean? What do Bar bargain. I don't know, teacher. It's okay. And hey, by the way, um, Tran, Tran, ah. mute, mute yourself when you're not speaking, Tran, just so we don't hear you typing. Okay. Uh, I know. Uh, Tran, the fry, and now fry. Uh, uh, set money for. For, for me. Yeah, so a bargain. So a bargain is where you save money on something, right? Uh, so yes. maybe something's at a discount plight price. So it's a real bargain. Maybe it's buy one, get one free. Yeah, it's a good deal. When you when you get a good deal, you get a deal on something, okay? Right? Samir, can you use bargain in a sentence, please? Okay. I last uh, night I bought uh, uh, a new shoes and I had uh, bargains. Okay, so you say you got a bargain. So last night I bought a pair of shoes uh, that were at a bargain, you could say, or I got a bargain on them. Okay. Yes. Okay, so bargain isn't a kind of price tag. A price tag will show you if there's a bargain on it, okay? And a bargain just means you get something at a lower price than what you should pay, okay? All right? So, like, if you're going out and you're, you're buying, like, a used car, let's say that somebody wants 20000 for a used car, and you talk them down to 10000 you get it for a real bargain. It's a real bargain. Okay. It's like a discount. It's like a, it's yeah. It's like a discount as well. It's like a discount. Yeah. Definitely like a discount. Okay. So, all right. Let's go to the next one here. Felipe, what is winter? What is winter? Uh, cold. I try. Yeah. So, what's winter? What is winter? It's okay. What's the definition of winter? Cold, cold weather. Yeah, so it's it's one of the four seasons, is that right? It's okay. So there's four seasons. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Is that right, Felipe? I don't know. 
don't I don't understand. It's okay. So there's four. So not everybody has four seasons. I realize that, right? Okay. But you have the four seasons. Okay, and unfortunately there's also yeah. So so here, so here's the four seasons: spring, uh -huh. summer, autumn, and winter. Some people call autumn. They call it fall. Okay. Yep. So winter is one of the seasons, and it can be pretty cold. Okay, but not everybody has four seasons. So Lee, how many seasons are in Vietnam? How many seasons do you have in Vietnam? I think two seasons. Mhm. Mm and what seasons are those? Uh, the rainy and dry. Mm, the rainy and dry season. Right now, yes. is it the rainy season for you, or at the dry season? Uh, uh, the weather uh, is become uh, becoming uh, 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 rainy. Rainy, really? Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. Hey. Um, um, yeah. Hey, Tran Beach Fung. Hi, Tran. Tran, keep in mind that when you're clicking and your microphone's not muted, that we can hear that, okay? Yeah. All right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, but when, when your microphone's not muted and you keep clicking, 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 okay, we can hear that, okay? So just make sure you mute yourself when you're going to start clicking, okay? All right? Can, uh, let's see here. So, uh, Juan, can you use winter in a sentence, please? Sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I can't. I can't hear you. Can you please repeat? Yeah. Can you use winter? Can you give an example sentence with the word winter? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the winter is coming. So. We need to buy uh, some new clothes for the winter, right? Mm -hmm. yep. For the you winter buy, season. Yeah, you need to buy some winter clothes like this winter cap. Winter oh. cap that they have here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Samir, what's a cap? The cap. A cap is uh, like a hat. Kind of hat. It's called mm -hmm. cap. Yep. Yeah, uh, in baseball. Yep. They wear cap. Yep. Does your uh, yeah? Does your dog? Does your dog have a cap? Does your dog wear a cap? Uh, a dog? I don't know. <laughs> but no, maybe okay. someone here. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if maybe if somebody has a dog. Yeah. There's a dog. There's a couple of dogs wearing caps. No, not not too many though. Yep. Yeah. I don't. I don't know Fancy. if I would. Yeah, I don't know if I'd have my... Oh, look at that. Now, that's cute, huh? Little kid has a dog cap on. How nice, I huh? I think this is the uh, ice cap, yes? This is what? Uh, the little... This, the children have the uh, ice cap. Uh, the ice cap. I'm sorry, has what? Say it again. Uh, ice cap, ice cap. Hmm, yeah, it's just a little baby hat. So um so okay Samir so yeah. do you do you ever wear a baseball ball cap Oh ice cap ice, ice cup cups. Huh. Ice, ice cup so, Yeah I don't I don't know how that would be an ice cup Ice cap? Oh, that would be like a winter cap that they're wearing. Yes, okay. Cap. Yeah. It's called so, ice cap or what? Uh, no, 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 no. And what we what we call that is, um, geez, I hate, I, it's, we just call it a cap. Another name for it as well. Ay, ay, ay. Um, hmm. Sometimes we call it like a a beanie. Beanie. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes we call it a uh, beanie man's coming up. No, and also, um, geez, I'm it's trying to remember. Right. Yeah, we just um, so some so usually like our moms knit us the 
So, yeah, so it's we can just call it like a winter cap. Oh, yeah, 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 let me just get to this. Okay. So you have it like that. Yes. Mm, so you won't you won't call it an ice cap though. Okay, wow, even cats wear stuff. Okay. Yep, <laughs> did you guys have a question? Anybody have a question? Um sorry, bonnet is the same? Bonnet? Bonnet uh bonnet's a little bit different, okay? Very rarely would people wear a bonnet these days, okay? So these are a bonnet, okay? It's kind of kind of like a traditional old hat. Okay. People don't really wear yeah, people aren't really gonna wear bonnets anymore. Okay. I think you look kinda weird if you're walking around in a in a bat <laughs> bonnet, you know. Uh -huh. Classic uh, classic hats. Yeah, yeah, definitely outdated. Um so what kind of hat do you use to keep ear? So those are just so yeah, the question to keep your ears warm. Those are just called ear muffs. Ear muffs. So you know, so you put these earmuffs on your head, okay? In the Name? winter time, okay. yeah, just earmuffs. Name earmuffs. Yeah, Yeah, so those aren't really a hat; those are just earmuffs. Okay. okay thank you. And you're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. you're welcome. Okay. So, but he he pulled the cap down over his ears, so he has a winter cap. Yeah. Okay, which which also covers the ears, okay? So he covered it over his ears. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so good. Let's continue on here. I'm trying to remember who's next. Um, oh, you're next. So, so Tron, what is leather? What is leather? Do you know what leather is? Measure. What is Measure leather? Is, is you from anymore? I don't know anymore. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you get leather like a leather hide. Hide. Say leather hide. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yes, yep. I see. Okay. Do you have anything leather? Do you have a leather purse? You have never leather purse, or do you have leather gloves? No. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So, do you own anything? Do you have a leather purse? Do you happen to own a leather purse? Uh, you to make the kit. Uh, yeah, so this is like a leather purse. So leather, yeah, yeah. leather is a type of uh, fabric. So, hey, everybody, I'm going to get going just because I have another class coming up. One more beginner class coming up after this, okay? So 